parallel and perpendicular lines. Here is a set of 50 questions for you to understand the concept of parallel and perpendicular lines. Well, let me share with you that even today I'm not very clear about parallel and perpendicular lines and there are some questions which are unanswered. I'd like you to make note of your learnings from these and also send me a list of questions which are unanswered for you. It'd be great to share these questions. I'll soon share one with you. C1 is a communication question and all those questions which start with C are communication starting with Q are general knowledge questions and starting with A are application questions starting with T will be thinking problems. So in this set of uh, 50 questions we have a couple of them uh, well about 10-12 with communication skills and then few with application and thinking and most of them are knowledge based questions. Now here's the first one C1. If two lines have same slope, then they are parallel and they don't intersect. Well, that's what the parallel lines are, right? So, on a coordinate plane, let's say this is a coordinate plane. If we need to draw parallel lines, then what do we do? We draw a line, let's say like this, that's a line, and we draw another line, right? And let's say this is another line. Well, this seems to be intersecting. Well, so we say, well, this seems to be intersecting, the slope is not same, so they are not parallel. But if I draw carefully another line like this, that seems to be a parallel line. And of course, when we draw by hand, we cannot really draw parallel lines. So we take help of these little arrows. So if I draw like this two arrows here, then I say, well, these two lines with these two arrows are parallel. What does it really mean? It means that lines will never intersect and what characteristics make them so? It is the slope of the line which makes it so. So for example, you have a line y equals to 2x minus 1 and another line saying y equals to 2x plus 1. Now these two lines are parallel. They have both same slope which is 2 and 2. But since they have different y-intercept, 1 minus 1, the other 1 plus 1, they will never intersect. Correct? Now the second part of this question is, explain if the above statement is always true. Okay? So I'm coming to the second part to you, right? Now here it is. Let's say this is my line y equals to 2x plus 1. So I'm saying, well, this point is 1 for me. If this point is 1 for me, then that is the y-intercept 1 and slope 2 means rise of 2 for run of 1 okay now the other line with intercept y at minus 1 and parallel to this line will go through a point let's say here which is minus 1 right and the slope has to be same right so it has to be like kind of like this do you see that now I can say my little two arrows like this saying that these two lines are parallel and they have same slope and in this particular case if I am saying their equation is 2x minus 1 and 2x plus 1 which one belongs to which? Minus 1 belongs to this one because the y-intercept is minus 1. Correct? So these are parallel lines because they have same slope but the other thing which I find most of the students missing most of the time is the y-intercept. Strictly speaking, when we say two lines have same slope, they are parallel and they do not intersect is not quite right. How about writing the line like this? For example, if I multiply this equation by 2 and I get 2y equals to 4x plus 2, which is actually same as y equals to 2x plus 1. So these two lines become similar, right? rather exactly same. So what happens? If you draw these two lines, then they will overlap. Right? How many points of intersection will they have? Infinite. Do you understand? They will have infinite number of points of intersection. Not <laughs> We are looking for one, right? But they will have infinite because they coincide, right? They are coincidental. They are same lines. They are exactly same lines. And they intersect at each and every point. Correct? So, important thing here to remember and to learn is 
parallel lines will in will denote parallel lines with a symbol now okay the symbol will be like this two parallel lines parallel lines let's say there are two lines have same slope and what should be different plus what different y intercept so i would like all my students to understand this definition of parallel lines there's too much of stress on same slope during the course when people learn parallel and perpendicular lines and they forget the better half which is different y intercept remember it please okay now with this we make a move and go to question number 2 and understand what perpendicular lines are okay